What's up people, this is Rishon Reactions here, live on YouTube. Today we are going to do another Dave the Useless Reaction called the Spongebob Last Episode by Dave the Useless. So let's get this reaction on the road. Hey baby, is there a program or cartoon that you think will never end? Family Guy, The Simpsons, the Pokemon anime, 60 Minutes? Honestly... Honestly, the show that bugs me the most is an infamous one by the name of SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, I was an animator on the show, and I joined around the rotten era, 2008. To me, it definitely should have ended after the fourth season. The fifth season hours just got pretty sour, and after working on seasons six, seven, and eight, oh, I pretty much quit my job. Even the newer episodes just don't sit well with me. The show just went on and on and on, Many people thought the show would never end, but shockingly enough, there was actually a final episode planned. Okay, listen, you might pass this off as crappy pasta bowl crap, and I honestly don't blame you if you do, but it's really not. Please trust me on this, okay? Good. So let me explain. You see, many workers like me tend to keep a lot of episodes on their computer or other device. Most episodes are finished, but some are either incomplete or were just never aired. The final episode was one of those on-aired episodes. Now, before I describe the episode itself, just know that the episode was meant to take place after the first movie. So here is the why in why this is not bullcrap. The main episode began with SpongeBob running around, manager card still in hand. Yeah! He yelled. The screen cut to Mr. Krabs and Squidward having a chat. Mr. Krabs... Yes, Mr. Squidward? How long is Spongebob gonna roll around like an idiot? He's been doing this for 30 minutes straight. Krabs replied with, Well, maybe he'll stop and... Mr. Krabs was interrupted by a time card saying two hours later. It then cut to an exhausted Spongebob slowly walking up to Mr. Krabs. Spongebob said to the crustacean cheapskate, Boy, Mr. Krabs, all that adventuring and running has left me poop. Since I saved your life, can I have, I don't know, a break? Well, Spongeboy me, Bob, since you prevented me from getting fried, I'll let you have a couple days off. I got you covered here, Spongebob. All right, Mr. Krabs. Whew. I'll see you later. Spongebob exits the Krusty Krab and then cut ten minutes forward via a time card. All right, Mr. Squidward, follow me into the kitchen, Mr. Krabs says to Squidward. But, Mr. Krabs, are you doing what I think you're doing? No buts, Mr. Squidward, Mr. Krabs said. He did sound slightly like an angry German man, and that's probably not a good sign. They walk into the kitchen to haul a machine out of a trap door. They set the machine onto the floor. The patio capable of making over a hundred patties per minute, Mr. Krabs said. Squidward, fetch the secret sauce. Right as he said that, Squidward replied with, Wait, so you're saying that it can do that? Wah, wah, wah. How can it make that many? How are you going to sell all that? Well, I put them up for five buckles. But what if the customers got too addicted? Squidward, that's the point. Squidward then had a look of question on his face. Then he looked at Mr. Krabs with an angry look on his face. I'm not doing this. I don't want to be involved with something that could kill somebody. Oh, I think you are, Mr. Squidward. Besides, your job is on the line. My job is on the line? Oh, please. You know, I only chose this job because it was the only option, even if I enjoyed it at first. I didn't have to dive into the mosh pit you call business, now did I? Besides, I thought Krabby Patties were made by hand. Uh, 
Obviously, Mr. Krabs was pissed. We're fine, Mr. Gippard. If you want to leave the Dutchess now, no one will make an eye unless one shot the patties like painted barnacle heads. Squidward scoffed at Krabs, saying, All right, I'll leave. Just tell a surprise when a dumb hunk of junk and hater breaks down and the zombified customer ever the door. I don't care if I become homeless, even if I don't have anything in the end, so boo-hoo for you. And with that, Squidward jumped out the ordering window and bolted for the door completely out of sight. We're probably all better for it. Mr. Krabs chuckled to himself. This is going to make me so much money the entire sea will drown in it. Krabs pulled out a bottle of red liquid from the trap door. And no, it wasn't blood, so don't, don't fucking ask. It was some sort of red substance. He took the bottle and poured it into a funnel on the top of the machine. This is going to make it so good that people won't ever stop eating them crabby patties. Now that Squidward is out of the way, time to flip the switch. Just then, Krabs flipped a switch on the machine that caused it the word of life, and he started to laugh maniacally. And as he was laughing, the screen cut to black. The screen faded back to show a pretty cute montage of Patrick and SpongeBob just goofing off, watching movies, singing the Goofy Goober song, blowing bubbles, jellyfishing, so on and so forth. This went on for around two and a half minutes until it reached the time that SpongeBob was ready to go to work. All right, Patrick, I gotta go to work. But you can walk with me to the Krusty Krab if you want. Okay, SpongeBob, I'll walk with you. After Patrick said that, the two went to the Krusty Krab and its sister food chain. When they arrived, SpongeBob said, Oh, Mr. Krabs, just stopping by to have a small chat before I start my manager shift. Holy crap, what happened to the customers? SpongeBob said as he looked at the dining area, then panned to the disgusting customers. Oh, my gosh. They, they were covered in Krabby Patty chunks, grease, ketchup, and other things like uh, pickles. Well, they were all morbidly obese as well. And these weren't regular fish either. These customers were characters like Sandy, Larry, and Mrs. Puff, and even Pearl. SpongeBob lifted up his sleeves and said, Stay back, Pat. I got a crustacean to talk to. As he walked into Krabs' room. Mr. Krabs, what were you thinking? That everybody is a walking, gurgling, puking sack of meat ready to burst. What, is this your sick enjoyment? SpongeBob said, bursting into the room. Mr. Krabs gleefully responded with, Oh, hello, me boy And to answer your question, no. But look at all the money I'm getting. Money, money, money. It's all that matters to me. No, I set a contest to see how fat the people could get. Whoever wins will win all me money. Oh, like that's ever going to happen. My, 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 Mr. Krabs, how... Would you ever conceive that as ethical? I can't believe it. Why? Why? Just why? Why the machine? I thought Krabby Patties were to be made by hand. Who would ever have the mind to? None of that matters, me boy Only money matters, only money. Just then, Patrick stepped in saying, are you trying to hurt my friend? No. Just teaching him a lesson. Patrick took a good look at the room and then at SpongeBob. They both seemed to understand something. Then they lunged towards the patio mattock, turning it off and completely tearing it to shreds. Mr. Krabs' grin slowly went down to a look of complete unfiltered rage. Without second thought, Mr. Krabs lunged at them, successfully hitting the duo. Both Spongebob and Patrick soon fell to the ground, with the last thing they heard being Mr. Krabs' raging nonsensical tantrums of madness. The two woke up attached to an odd contraption. They both saw Mr. Krabs staring directly at them. You boys wrecked me, machine. 
I was making lots of money off that contraption. And both of you decided to ruin it. So I hooked you up to that thingy over there to release your minds. So you will be 110% loyal to the crusty crab. Got it? SpongeBob replied with, No, you can't do this, crabs. This is just the moral pointless and just dumb. Just repair it yourself. You made that thing right. Shut up and quit being so dumb. I don't even know why I had to do I could have hired some dumb idiot on the street if I wanted to. Hearing this, SpongeBob quickly filled up with adrenaline to the point where he was literally red. Right then and there, he busted out of his bonds. He then broke Patrick out of his bonds. Then they both gave crabs the dirtiest look a sea creature could ever muster. Bonds. Without thought, they both started to pound mercilessly on Mr. Krabs. Blow after blow, hit after hit, pound after pound. They roundhouse kicked him, threw him across the wall, slapped him, and gave him a pretty brutal beating. And they stopped. They then did something, in my opinion, that was very shocking. And when I look at it, pretty fucked up and morbid as well. They started putting ketchup, mayo, mustard, pickles, and all of the Krabby Patty ingredients and started dumping them on Mr. Krabs. When they were done, they opened the door and yelled, Hey, there's a giant Krabby Patty in there. As they said this, they just bolted out the windows. The scene cut to Mr. Krabs just laying there. The morbid beast came closer and closer. Krabs cried out in desperate yelling, I'm sorry, I'll stop, I'll be better, just don't worry about eating me, you can have all me money, just don't eat me please, but none of them cared, then something snapped with him. He realized he deserved what he was getting. I know what I did wrong, I manipulated and harmed people, just for money. Oh, I've made my workers into practical slaves, I've even damaged my relationship with me daughter, he sighed, but none of that is going to save me now. Let's just hope God forgives me. Then the episode just ended. Even went out with a normal credit song and everything. It's obvious why this episode went on air. Honestly, I'm glad that it went on air, killing off one of its own main characters. What the frig? Well, the show would go on for much longer. Part of me's glad it didn't end this way. There'd be complaints up the wazoo. And while I like the episode, honestly, things were for the best, in my humble opinion. Wow. Okay, that was um um by Dave the Useless SpongeBob last episode. So this was season one, episode fifteen. All right. So I'm going to do season one, episode sixteen tomorrow. So this is Rishon Reactions live on YouTube. As always, I will see you in the next video.